Hey, good morning. I am Royal, and uh, it is just a little after sunrise in my backyard in Hearst, Texas. I'm here to do my morning devotional. I hope you're here to do it with me. I do this Monday through Friday, and this morning's video is for Friday, March the 24th. And here's a question for you. What's your conversation life with God like? Um, I mean, do you talk to him all the time? Do you talk to him at dinner? Do you talk to him when you go to church? Do you talk to him when you're, do you throw 911 calls up to him? Uh, what's that like? Uh, what if you could do it all the time? What if you could live your life consistently staying connected with God? You know, that's really the key. That's really the key in gaining God's wisdom. It's really the key in understanding God's word. It's really the key in going through your day and making right choices that would be in line with God. And even if things come out wrong, uh, knowing that God's using those things that come out wrong to make you stronger. You ever think about that? I mean, oh, sometimes I even hear people say, oh, God must not want me to do that. Well, maybe God wanted you to do that so that you would learn the lesson that you just learned. See, as parents, sometimes we let our kids make the mistakes and then we talk them through how they sh should have learned from that. Anyway, that's that happens when you're in this ongoing conversation with God. And it's not just you talking. It's talking and listening, talking and listening. I'm about to read a couple of verses, uh, very short ones. But let me just pray for us so that our hearts and minds are open to what God would want us to hear. Heavenly Father, today, may we keep your name above every other name. May we serve you above everything else. Would you give us what we need to be who you want us to be? Would you forgive us of our sins and point out the sins in our life we need to ask forgiveness for? And Lord, um, may we forgive those who hurt us so that we can be better and not bitter. And Lord, would you protect us from the temptations and the negative influences that are around us all the time? And we will give you glory no matter what happens, good or bad. In Jesus' name, amen. And again, understanding, one of the things about being close to God is, is that you, uh, you understand even when the bad things happen. And it really makes it easier to handle the bad things when the bad things happen. Because you have more, you have a different perspective. You will have the perspective of looking at it through God's eyes. First uh, Thessalonians 5, 17, three, three words, three words. Never stop praying. Royal, how do you do that? How do you not, you know, I have to work. I have a job to do. Look, you can meditate on God while you're in the middle of anything. That's what prayer is. It's that connection with God. And, and um, a big part of prayer that most people don't focus on is listening. You know, people, oh, I, man, I can't. I mean, I pray about 15 seconds and I'm done. I can't think of anything else to say. Then you listen. And the cool thing is, is as you listen, it gives you other things to talk to God about. And so never stop praying, First Thessalonians. And for me, sometimes that's a... Uh, just saying a couple of words in my head, you know, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, that keeps me connected. That really does keep me, try that today, just in your head, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. Now, Psalm 119.97 says how important it is for us to know God's word. Uh, like this guy does, the psalmist. Oh, how I love your instructions, he says to God. Oh, how I love your instructions. I love opening up your book and seeing what you have to say to me and what impact that will have on my life. That's what that's all about. I think about them, he says, all day long. So, and here's the deal. The more you get to know God's words, uh, the more you will think about them and you'll apply them to all situations when somebody's treating you mean or when life isn't going right or a, a, a decision needs to be made at work or whatever. If you're focusing on and knowing God's word, then his instructions will be in your head and you'll be able to relate. And the cool thing is when you relate with God's word, then you also are seeing things from his perspective, from his perspective. Here's my prayer today for these two verses. Dear Heavenly Father, 
I love that you are God and I can know you intimately as a friend and a father. How cool is that? I will strive to talk to you constantly and listen to what you have to say in my life. I will pay close attention to your words to direct the decisions of my life, both big and small. And there's a key there. If you'll focus on God during the small things, you will just, you will go right into the big things in line with God. And it makes that transition from small to big no big whoop, you know. It's a, it's an easy bridge to step over if you're connected with God in the small things when the big things happen, when everything around you starts to fall apart. So that's my prayer for you. I, I hope this encouraged you today. Hey, if you live in the Dallas-Fort Worth Mid-Cities area and you don't have a church home, I pastor Life Connection Church in North Euless, and we have a 9:15 and 11 o'clock service, and uh, we would love to have you come come be my guest. Come be my guest. You can find out more about us at lifeconnectionchurch.org. That is my uh, devotional for today. I'll be back on Monday, the good Lord will and the creek don't rise. But until then, love God, love people, change the world, and God will start with you.